compound sentence is a special kind of sentence. Compare it to a simple sentence. A simple sentence has one subject, one verb. For example, I like to eat chocolate. Everyone in class seems nice. There are nine planets in our solar system. The wind, you notice all of these are simple present. They follow the rules of simple present. One subject, one verb. This is also true for questions. In a question, the verb is before the subject. Is there free Wi-Fi at the college? Are we ready to take the quiz? Will it rain tonight? That's an action verb, rain. So will it rain tonight? Do you like funny movies or scary movies? All of those are examples of one subject, one verb. There is a special type of sentence called a command or imperative where you tell a person what to do. When I say, come here, the subject is you. It's invisible. It's not in the sentence. I just would say, come here. I might say, oh, don't make a sound. Don't make a sound. The subject is you. Turn off your phone. The subject is you. Pay the bill online. The subject is you. We do not hear it, we do not write it, we do not say it, but the subject we understand is you. So one subject, one verb. That's a simple sentence, but you can put simple sentences together with connectors. I hope you remember the fanboys connectors. Right here, you remember they get their nickname because of their first letter. If you join with two simple sentences with a fanboy, that's called a compound sentence. So let's begin with these three fanboys, and, but, or, and, but, or. They all have the same grammar, little bit different meanings. Simple and simple. That's a one kind of compound sentence. Now the word and, and means both of these are true. Let's look at some examples. I like chocolate and you like cake. They're both true. Everyone in class seems very nice and they're smart too. The wind feels cool and fresh and the sky looks clear and blue. So these sentences put together with and have comma and they're complete sentences. They both have one subject, one verb. We may also use the fanboys, but, but has a different meaning. Something about the sentences is the opposite. It's also a compound sentence, but the meaning is a little different. Some examples, I like chocolate, but you don't like it. Everyone in class seems very nice, but I don't know them yet. The wind feels cool and fresh, but the clouds look dark and rainy. So something is the opposite. Both sentences are true, but the meaning, the feeling, the emotion, something is the opposite. What about or? This is also a compound sentence. The grammar is the same, but the meaning, a little different, or means a choice. They're not both true. You can drive downtown or you can take the bus. I can cook or you can buy pizza. Pay online or pay in person. Notice the last one does not have a comma. It's because they are short sentences, very easy. Pay online or pay in person. A compound sentence usually does use a comma. Look at the commas, look at the commas. The difference is the sound. If you do not pause, Pay online or pay in person. There is no pause. We don't need a comma. Okay, I hope that helps you.